Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. Let's begin with the practice question. With reference to India's biodiversity, common teal, green shank, pintail, wagtail, these are actually birds. So, Menar village in Udaipur district is said to be notified as Rajasthan's new wetland. The two lakes in the village, the Brahma and Bhend, play host to a large number of migratory birds in the winter season every year. They include greater flamingo, white-tailed lapwing, pelican, marsh harrier, parroted goose, common teal, green shank, pintail, wagtail, green sandpiper and red wattle lapwing. Moving on, a report titled India's booming chick and platform economy has been launched by the correct answer is Niti Aayog. Recently, Niti Aayog launched a report titled India's booming gig and platform economy and it is a first of its kind study that presents comprehensive perspective and recommendations on the gig platform economy in India. The report estimates that in 2020-21, 77 lakh workers were engaged in the gig economy. They constituted 2.6% of the non-agricultural labour force or 1.5% of the total workforce in India. The gig workforce is expected to expand 2.35 crore workers by 29-2030. Moving on. The Thamapati wood carvings is associated with which of the following states? Tamil Nadu is the correct answer. Recently, Tamil Nadu government initiated steps to set up a wood craft village with basic amenities for the artisans at Rs 1 crore in Thamapati. Thamapati is known for its wood carvings and the wide range of products made in this village including idols and temple doors. These products are exported to various states and countries. The Thamapati wood carvings have received geographical indication tag as well. Moving on. Recently, a place Kaliningrad was in the news. It's related to. The correct answer is Russia. Recently, Lithuania banned the transit of goods subjected to European Union sanctions through its territory to the Russian exclave Kaliningrad. It's connected to the rest of the Russia by a rail link through Lithuania, a member of the EU and NATO as well. Vilnius is the capital of Lithuania. Which of the following best describe the Gillian Bear syndrome? The correct answer is immune system attacking nervous system. Recently, scientists at the National Institute of Virology Pune have cautioned against the spread of Zika virus along with dengue and chikungunya. Zika virus, a vector 1 flavivirus, is transmitted by the bite of infected Aedes mosquito, mainly Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. The virus was first isolated from the rhesus monkey in Uganda in the Zika forest in 1947 and hence got its name. In some cases, Zika infected patients contracted the Guillain Barr's. The syndrome means when the immune system attacks the nervous system, sometimes resulting in paralysis. Performance grading index for districts is released by which of the following ministry? The correct answer is Ministry of Education. Recently, the Ministry of Education's performance grading index for districts for 2019 has been released and it studied 83 indicators grouped in six categories. PGID grades the district into 10 grades, Daksh for districts scoring more than 90% of total points. Utkarsh, 81 to 90% and Ati Uttam, 71 to 80%. The lowest grade in PGID is called Akanshi 3, which is for scores up to 10% of the total points. The ultimate objective is to help the districts to prioritize areas for intervention in school education and thus improve to reach the highest grade. Consider the following statements regarding the nano breadth. The correct answer we have to choose from amongst the given options. First is, it is an N95 mask made by using 2D printing technology. It has a shelf life of more than 5 months. It has a 4-layer filtration mechanism. Only third statement is correct. D is the correct answer. Recently, researchers have developed a reusable, recyclable, washable, odorless, non-allergic and antimicrobial N95 mask and it was made by using 3D printing technology. The outer layer of the mask is made up of silicon, has a shelf life of more than 5 years depending upon the use. A 4-layer filtration mechanism has been provided in the mask wherein the outer and first layer of the filter is coated with nanoparticles. The India State Support Programme for Rate Safety is financed by, the correct answer is World Bank. Recently, the World Bank has approved a $250 million loan to support the Government of India's road safety programme for 7 states. Under this, a single accident reporting number will be set up to better manage post-crash events. The India State Support Programme for Road Safety will be implemented in the states of Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, Odisha, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal. It will establish a national harmonised crash database system in order to analyse accidents and use that to construct safer roads. It will also provide incentives to states to leverage private funding through public-private partnership concessions and pilot initiatives. A joint Commonwealth Diplomatic Academy program is planned by, the correct answer is, India and United Kingdom. 
India and the UK will create a joint Commonwealth Diplomatic Academy program. The aim is to train young and aspiring diplomats from both nations. The six degree channel separates. The correct answer is Great Nicobar and Indonesia. The Great Channel in the Indian Ocean separates Great Nicobar Island of India and Akeh province of Indonesia. The Great Channel is located at 6 degree north of equator and is popularly referred to as the 6 degree channel. What is the theme selected for Statistics Day 2022? The correct answer is Data for Sustainable Development. The Government of India has been celebrating Statistics Day on 29 June every year since 2007 to mark the birth anniversary of late Professor Prasanta Chandra Mahalanobis. He gave valuable contribution in the field of economic planning and statistics. The theme selected for 2022 is Data for Sustainable Development. The major aim is creation of public awareness on the role and importance of statistics in socio-economic planning. Moving on to the practice question, which of the following is not the member of the partners in the Blue Pacific Initiative, Japan, New Zealand, Australia, South Korea, answered it correctly. Thank you so much for watching.